Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. This is James. I just pulled up to the dyno shop here. Uh, we actually have Jamie's Mustang on the dyno. It's been on there a couple days. We've ran into a few little issues getting the SCT hooked up and being able to do all the uh, data logging and everything. What he's doing is sending his tune off to Lund, but we're going to go ahead and get in there. We ran into a bunch of issues with it throwing all the codes and trying to go into limp mode and everything else because of all the safety features in the car. We did figure out that it was a fuse, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the guys that now. This is Jamie's Mustang, it's a 2018 S550. And we got it on the dyno, he's gonna have Lund do the tune on it. We need to just make some base pulls for it, uh, some idle, some short pulls in gear, and then some wide open throttle pulls. Send them the data log, they'll look over it and then send it back. They're actually doing like a flex tune for it for E85. So we're gonna get it, uh, just make some data logs here. It does have a Roush intake on it, has some headers. This thing is pretty crazy loud, but we already got it all hooked up on the dyno. Um, this is actually a couple days of playing with it because we had some issues getting the live link to load onto the computer and then getting the data log portion to pop up. And then we finally figured out how to get the config file into the handheld SCT tuner and all of that. This has the BDX on it. So now we can make some data logs with everything and um, send that stuff off. So I'm going to go ahead and use the dyno here to just add some load uh, during those part throttle and then we'll do some wide open throttle stuff, log it and send it off. If you are trying to dyno a S550 Mustang, if you pull this little guy out right here, it is a 5 milliamp fuse that sits right here in this box, uh, spot number 62. Uh, I guess that disables like all the ABS controls and everything because whenever we were trying to dyno it, the first day, it kept throwing a bunch of codes, giving us a bunch of issues, and wouldn't let us make pulls until we pulled this little fuse. So I guess there's also something, uh, if you pop the plug for the ABS module, I've read that that works, but I'm not 100% sure. So something either disabling it by pulling the fuse or possibly by just unplugging the ABS module will help you, in a sense, put the car into dyno mode and make pulls without it seeing that there's either no rear wheels on the car or that the rear wheels are spinning far faster than the front wheels and throwing it into like a limp mode. So that is how you can dyno an S550 Mustang. As far as I know, this one's an 18. I'm not sure about the other years. Not doing a lot of Ford stuff, but. So now we have all the PIDs set up from Lund for their data logging through the BDX. Goes over the computer ties in. So you got this little handheld that you then use the software from the interwebs to download. And now we're gonna go ahead and let the car warm up all the way. And then actually they said since we're on a dyno, they really just need uh, some full throttle pulls from 3,000 to 7,000. So I'll let the car warm up, do a little log, let it sit at idle for a few seconds, then roll into the dyno pull. Probably send them a couple of them, make sure everything looks good. So set up, ready to rock and roll. So laptop, handheld, dyno controller, two feet, two hands, and we will try to make a few dyno pulls here. So on that one, on Lund's base tune, it made 487 and 423. Uh, I can actually go ahead and cut back to a clip. We made a few other pulls the other day and it actually made like 430, I believe. Um, so just on their base tune, it picked up quite a bit of horsepower and then they'll take this data and uh, do all the conversions for E and all that flex fuel stuff. But pretty nice pull right there, it made nice. They wanted to pull all the way up to 7,500. So went ahead and did that. but made uh, peak power 487 at 6800 and max torque 423 at 4875. So uh, on these cars you lock in the seventh gear, I'll probably go ahead and do one more and I'll show you guys from inside the car how we uh, make a pull on this thing. So I went ahead and started the data log. I'm gonna let it sit here and idle for a second, let them get some idle info and then go ahead and roll it back up there and make another pull. Alrighty, so I've got some good data here going. I'm gonna go ahead and put this car in standard, as you guys can see, and then just throttle up. Go ahead and click it. There's second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, 
6th gear and all the way to 7th. Now we're in 1 to 1. Go ahead and click get up to 3,000 RPM and it'll start lugging the car down at 3,000. Right there, it holds it back. Wait for the green light. over here stop data and save save all and run wide open throttle two and that is saved so pretty impressive that just their base tune that they said you could make more car than what's part of had in it which is pretty awesome so we're gonna go ahead and uh that's about it. I mean, if they want to make a few more pulls, maybe we will, but super simple. Once we had everything set up, it took us a couple days to get the data lock set up, to get the car set up correctly, to figure out all that. Sometimes that's what you do to learn, but now everything's set up super quick, super simple, make a few logs and send it on its way, send it out to them. They'll revise the tune, send it back to them, let them know if they need to make any more. Uh, we actually got to pull the car off because I got to uh, modify the hubs for a car this weekend for the 5.8 studs, but we'll get the car back on it here soon and probably finish up the E85 and all that. Uh, if they fill in the data, they need another pull for more data. And then that's kind of how email tuning works. You make a rip, send it to them back forth until everything is dialed in. All right guys, so that is gonna be it. We got the data we needed. So we're gonna go ahead and get the car unhooked, send off the data files, and then we'll be back with a lot more dyno content. A little quick one, uh, kind of, I learned something, so hopefully you guys did too, if you're looking to figure out how to put this thing into dyno mode and make pulls and all of that. But pretty impressive. Again, we picked up like 50 horsepower from what we've seen before just with their base tune. So he'll be getting the E85 and then maybe we'll get this thing back on here and make some pulls on it with E in it and uh, see what it can do then. So if you guys would like to see more dyno content, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.